All right, so now we come to the limit comparison test. All right, so it's still sort of a comparison test. Um, the setup is the same as direct comparison. We have two positive sequences. We're looking at convergence of the corresponding series. Okay? Um, and the limit comparison test is essentially trying to set up this, this idea that if we kind of know in the long run how the two sequences compare, right, then sort of smaller differences that might matter for small values of n don't matter so much for larger values of n. They're not so important. We just wanted to look about sort of this sort of long-term comparison. How do they compare once n gets really big? Okay. Um, so if the limit of the ratio is L, right, what that's telling you is that for large values of n, the terms in this sequence are roughly some multiple of the terms in this sequence, right? A n is approximately L times B n, where L is some limit, right? So they, they're kind of the same size, right? Same order of magnitude. They agree, well, not order of magnitude is not the right term, but um, they, they're equal up to a constant multiple, right? And we know that as far as convergence of a series goes, constant multiple doesn't matter. If there's a constant multiple, you can pull it out, right? And so these two sequences, or these two series, either they both converge or they both diverge, because the, the terms here are, behave roughly the same as the terms here for long term, right? And convergence really depends on long term behavior, what happens for large values of n. Okay? So, and then of course it could be that, you know, so L here needs to be, it needs to be positive, right? It can't be zero and it can't be infinity. So what happens if it is zero or infinity? Uh, well, if the limit is zero, what is that telling you? That's telling you that these terms here, the Bn's, are growing much faster than the An's, right? So these ones are growing faster. So that means that in the long run, the Bn's are larger than the An's, okay? So now you're kind of back to direct comparison. The Bn's are eventually larger than the An's, otherwise that limit wouldn't be zero. And so you know that if the sum of the Bn's converges, well, the Bn's are bigger than the An's, so the An's have to converge, right? Essentially, you turn it into, into direct comparison, okay? On the other hand, if the limit is infinity, well, that means that the ANs are growing much faster than the BNs, right? So the ANs are larger in the long run. And so if you know that this series diverges, this one must as well, right? Um, so the, the strategy here is always that you want to think of this as like the, this series here, right, the AN. This is sort of the one that you're given. So you want to think of basically... This, this is like the, the given series, and this is the one that you're going to compare to. Right, that's your comparison series. Um, and so this might be, you know, this might be sort of complicated, right? You're given some complicated series. You want to compare to something that is relatively simple, something where you know what the answer is. You know if it converges or diverges. And and you, you want them to be sort of roughly similar in the, in the sense of long-term behavior. Like if, if, if this is some rational expression, well, then you want to look at largest powers of n, right? And, and set this up based on that, um, right? So typically you're setting things up so that you, you're going to be you, way back, you know, the very first chapter of calculus limits, you're doing limits at infinity. You're setting it up so that you're going to do something like a limit of a rational function with equal powers top and bottom to try and get that L. That's, that's the most typical scenario for this, right? Um, but you want to think of the BN as always your sort of test sequence that you're trying to compare against. Um, so just as a, as a quick example, so that didn't take too long, let's look at that one that we just left off with, right? We had this sequence, 1 over n squared minus n, sorry, n started at 2 because we don't want to divide by 0. Um, and you say, okay, I want to decide on convergence of this series by comparison. But we just saw that direct comparison is a pain, really a pain, okay? So we want to compare to, what should we compare to? Well, we look at this, and again, the, the, the intuition here, the idea you want to apply is to say, well, look, um, for large values of n, the highest power is going to dominate. 
ignore all the rest, right? So it's to throw the rest away, and what you're left with is your comparison. So we want to compare this with the sum n going from 2 to infinity of 1 over n squared. And we know that this is a convergent p-series, right? Okay, so we're going to compare to this convergent p-series, and we simply say, okay, let's look. Um, my a n is 1 over n squared minus n. b n is 1 over n squared. So limit n going to infinity, a n over b n. We have the limit n going to infinity of also well, dividing by b n, dividing by 1 over n squared is the same as multiplying by n squared. So n squared over n squared minus n, okay? And that limit is 1, right? Highest degree, top and bottom is equal, right? Power 2, top, power 2, bottom. We look at the coefficients, 1 over 1. We know that limit is 1, okay? Um, and 1 is bigger than 0, it's less than infinity. So we know that this sum... Um, Sorry, going from 2 to infinity n squared minus n converges by the limit comparison test, right? Um, and, you know, if you were, if we had the other example, it was n squared plus n, right? So if you had n squared plus n, um, probably you should do direct comparison. You can still do limit comparison. This exact same thing is going to work if there was a plus here instead of a minus, right? You're still going to get one for the limit. Um, but this is slightly more work than direct comparison if it's an easy direct comparison, right? So maybe you want to do direct comparison for plus, but you should probably do limit comparison for minus because doing a direct comparison for this, we saw that that's actually a fair amount of effort. Limit comparison is relatively straightforward.